When the moon hits your eye like a pizza pot of pie. That's amore. <laughs> what up, internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. Cookin'. Today, I'm taking on the fucking pizza pot pie in celebration of marijuana being legalized in many of our fine states in this great country of ours. We're actually gonna make it with real pot. Just kidding. Nope. Because then YouTube wouldn't let me monetize this video and I need to make the money. I need to pay for my marijuana addiction. But if you are in one of those fine states, try making this with pot because why not? Yeah, I'm Dr. Seuss today. Food Network did a little video on this place in Chicago that makes a pizza pot pie, and it looks delicious. Thank you, Food Network, for bringing this amazing culinary masterpiece to my attention, because otherwise I would have just been living in darkness for the rest of my life. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kick this up a notch by making my own f***ing tomato sauce. That's right. I found this recipe from Serious Eats. Better be f***ing real serious, all right? Daniel Gritzer, or I'm coming for you. Because honestly, the process of using fresh tomatoes to make a tomato sauce seems pretty daunting. There's a lot of steps, okay? And the explanation on how to make it is really fucking long, but I appreciate it, Gritzer. But what I'm trying to tell you, the viewer that is watching right now, if you want to make this sauce, you're gonna have to go ahead and read that fucking shit because I had to do it. So if you want to learn how to do it, you gotta do it too. Sorry. This is where you can go to find it, right here. Speaking of which, have I told you my sauce joke yet? What did the pasta say to the tomato? Don't get saucy with me. <laughs> First off, you need like 25 pounds of tomatoes. I probably don't need that much tomato sauce, but I'm planning on freezing this shit and having it all winter long, like a fucking squirrel and shit. Yes, yeah, so I came really close to 25 pounds, but I realized I was just shy of that, and my neighbors next door have some tomatoes that are growing over the fence. So technically, those are my tomatoes, right? Is wrong? Did you get those from the neighbors? Shh. Go, 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 What they don't know won't hurt them. Okay, so once I got all my tomatoes together, and goddamn, look at this shit. It is beautiful. I need to Instagram this real quick. Hold up. Yes. Okay, for the first part of the sauce, you gotta make your own tomato paste. For this, I used only the Roma tomatoes, and you gotta cut up all the tomatoes, which takes a really long time, okay? This is a very meditative job. Ooh, that's a f ton of tomatoes. Yeah, anyway, so I did all this shit and like cut the things and cooked them down until this stage happened and then you gotta put them all in a food mill and food mill them up. There's other ways to do this, but this is what Daniel told me to do. So I'm following Daniel's instructions, okay? And to be honest, I'm pretty fucking excited about this shit. It already tastes really good and it smells really good in here and I haven't even put anything in these tomatoes. It's just tomatoes. It's amazing. If you've never made your own fresh tomato sauce before, you're missing out. While the tomato paste is working, you gotta cut up a ton more tomatoes and then cook those all down the same way you did the first batch and again with the food mill and you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of work, but it makes you feel really good. So after six hours, I would say, I had a pretty decent fucking sauce. It really pays off to make your own shit, you know? All right, so now that I got my sauce, the hard work is pretty much over. All you need to do is get yourself a ceramic oven safe bowl. Yeah, once you have your bowl, you just gotta butter that shit up. Butter it up. And then you put a crap ton of cheese down inside the bowl. Yes, a literal crap ton. All right, so in the video, they show putting mushrooms in there, and I don't like mushrooms. I like the concept of mushrooms. I think they're really cool, but unless they're gonna give me hallucinations, 
I ain't eating no mushrooms. So instead of mushrooms, I'm putting some red onions in there because I'm a fucking adult and I like onions now. Yeah. And then some black olives. Boom. Because black olives are delicious, Rob. I know you don't like black olives or any olives for that matter, but I love you. That's for sure. Okay, now it's time for the star of our show, the sauce. The sauce goes right on top of here, like that. I was too tired after making all this fucking sauce that I just bought some fucking pizza dough from the pizza counter at the grocery store. I don't have the time. I don't want to do it. Anyway, you put your dough on top of the bowl like this. And then you just gotta put it in your oven. I recommend on top of some sort of pan or tray, baking sheet, whatever those things are called, because it's probably gonna get a little drippy and you don't want that shit all over your oven because then it smells like burning every time you cook something. All right, I think this shit is ready, y'all. What the f I think it looks pretty good. It's uh, burning my hands. This thing sucks. <laughs> We've obviously had some problems in our kitchen before. All right, are we ready? Gotta get it on this camera. All right, here we go. Here we go now. This is the moment of truth. Can we get it to dump onto the plate like they do in the video? Fingers crossed. Here we go. It's kind of hot. Be careful, don't burn your little mouth off. Listen, there's definitely some things I would do differently next time, but you bet your fucking sweet ass there will be a next time. Cause this is delicious. Oh. Ah. Look at that fucking melty gooey deliciousness. Ah! Mm. God damn it, yes. I'm gonna have to run like 20 miles today. Ugh. Maybe if I chase it with an apple, it won't be so bad. Pull that bird poop off of there. Well, this isn't as good. All right, I think that's it for this week. As always, we wanna know what you wanna see us make on this channel, so leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Like up this video, because we like being liked. It makes us feel better about our lives. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go cry in a corner all day. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna do that anyway. 